Hello, and welcome to the eighth annual First Year Experience Scholar Celebration. We talk a lot in the summer before your first year with you and your parents and guests and family members, and we talk a lot in Wu 101 about how difficult the transition from high school to university studies can be. It's difficult not because the work is necessarily harder for you as a student, but it's very often difficult because the pace of life is much quicker. This year, of course, it's vastly more difficult because we're living through a global pandemic. So to be a first year scholar in the middle of a global pandemic is something you should feel really good about. I am incredibly proud of you. Uh, my name is Dr. Alan Barron. I'm a professor of history in Christianity, Dean of University Libraries and the Center for Student Success and Retention. And my job is to help the people who help you find success. And I have to tell you that all the reports I receive about you as a scholar are incredibly positive. Again, this is not an easy time to be successful in university, to make the transition into university studies is really, you know, it's a unique moment, let's be honest. Uh, it's nothing like I've ever experienced and hopefully we'll never experience again. So to have the kind of success you've had is something I really want to just say, well done, thank you, keep it up. I want you to feel really good about yourself. Parents, family members, I want you to feel really good about your student because they have started strong in their university studies. And starting strong is the best indicator we have that you're going to graduate on time. Washburn University is excited to recognize you as an FYE scholar. We know that something like 40% of students who are going to struggle in university do so in their first semester. So again, the fact that you've been successful in your first semester, the fact that you've been successful in your first semester during a global pandemic is no small feat. It is something that we are excited at Washburn to praise you for. It's something we are excited at Washburn to recognize you for. Washburn's historic commitment is to helping students succeed. Now, that's not just in your first semester. It's not just in your first year. Washburn's historic commitment is to helping you as an Ichabod succeed and graduate on time. But again, succeeding in the first semester lays a framework, a foundation for everything that follows. So today in our FYE, our first year experience scholar celebration, we really do just celebrate you. We want you to know that we are in your corner. We're in your corner beyond the first year. We're on your team. At every step of the way to graduation, we want to help you continue the success you've already had. Now, there's a lot of ways to continue that success, to persist to graduation. There are many things you, you can do. Number one, go to class. As hard as it is sometimes right now in a virtual world, log in, stay connected with your instructors. They are, they are the number one success fans that you have. They are the people who are not here just to teach you, but to guide you in a successful move towards graduation. Good clients, right? But also, we want you to attend skill shops. We run hundreds of skill shops through the university library on study skills, on organizational skills, on financial literacy, attend a skill shop. Participate in those skill shops to refine those abilities and skills that you need to do well. Log into the Navigate app and use study buddies. Find a study group that will help you be successful in that class that's challenging you. It's okay to ask for help from your peers, just like it's okay to help ask for help from an instructor or to ask for help from somebody in the libraries in the Center for Student Success and Retention. Use TutorMe. If you need help with tutoring, we have an online platform, a 24-7 platform that you can access. It's already paid for. You don't pay free of charge to you now. You use TutorMe. Get assistance in that class that you're just maybe a little bit stuck in or maybe a little bit behind in. Within TutorMe, you can get help in math, 
in history, with writing. There's a really huge number of things you can get help with. So use two to me. But more than anything, as you move forward, as you move towards your degree, when you hit a bump in the road and you need a little bit of help, or if things are going well and you need a pat on the back, come to the university libraries. Come in the front doors of maybe library. Walk up to the front desk and say, hi, my name is, I need some help. The people in the libraries and the Student Center for Student Success and Retention exist for one reason only, to help you graduate from Washburn University on time. We want you to make the most of your university experience, to participate in clubs, to participate in activities, to cheer on athletic teams, to volunteer in the community, to Take internships at the right place for you as you move towards your graduation. We want you to do all of those things, but we want you to stay focused on building upon this great foundation you've set in semester one. Now notice, I make no secret of what my job is. My job, you've heard me say now 10 times already in the last five minutes, my job is to help you graduate from Washburn on time. The people I work alongside every day, their job is to help you graduate from Washburn on time. So again, we are 100% today celebrating your success because a great first semester really does set you up for everything that follows. And we are so happy that you had a great first semester. But we want you to know we're here to help as you move forward. No matter how big or how small the issue is, you come and ask for help and we'll do our best to help you. It's a great day to be in Ichabod. Uh, Ichabods, of course, are world changes, community changes. And you are now very firmly in that tradition. You're going to see a picture in a moment of commencement. That's what this is all about. We're trying today to frame for you an understanding of that ultimate goal, graduation. When you look at that picture of commencement at Washburn, imagine yourself in three or four years from now walking across the stage to get your diploma. It's a really great day when you graduate. You and your family get to enjoy that moment. In a, it, it's really, it's really, I remember like my graduation like it was yesterday. My parents, my family were so proud of me. And our support structures really do make a difference. So family members who are watching this, we're proud of your student. I know you're proud of your student, but I do want to thank you also for everything you've done to get your student to this point. Again, in the middle of a pandemic, your support is crucial to their success. So as you look at the image of commencement, I want you to picture what how great it's going to be when your student graduates. As your student embraces non novus alone, the Washburn motto, the idea of not for ourselves alone, as your student graduates, says thank you to you, and then goes off to make their community a better place. It's, it, it's a wonderful day when I get to say well done. So well done. And again, we just want you to keep plugging along, keep persevering, keep pushing hard, but know you're not alone. I'm here for you. Other people in the Center for Student Session, instructors, the university, we exist to help you graduate. Well done. Congratulations. Don't be a stranger. Come to the library and visit with us. We'll pat you on the back. We'll help you. We'll do everything we can to help you fulfill your dreams. Well done, scholars. First year experience scholars, and of course, your families and support systems. I'd like to take just a second to say congratulations. Congratulations on your recognition as a first year experience scholar. This is all about recognizing you for your hard work, your dedication, your commitment to your academic success. Again, well done. My name is James Barraclo, and I serve as the Director of Undergraduate Initiatives here at Washburn University. Really, what that means is I get to work with all kinds of programs that support first year students here at Washburn. A little bit earlier, Dr. Behrman mentioned graduation. In a non-pandemic moment for our FYE Scholar Celebration, we would actually have you walk across the stage. 
right? With people applauding for you, your support systems applauding for you out in the audience. Since we can't do that, at least not quite the same way, I'm going to ask you to play along with me for a little bit of an exercise. So if you could take just a second and find a piece of paper or maybe a note card and a pen. So you could even pause the recording right now while you snag that paper and pen. Now that you have your paper and pen, I want you to think about how you would respond to these three prompts. I promise it's just three. So if you could imagine four years down the road, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, but imagine your graduation day. All right, you're leading up to that. Here's your first prompt. Who are the first people that you would tell that you're going to graduate? Who comes to mind right away? Go ahead and write those down. Here's your second prompt. What emotions will you feel on your graduation day? Maybe you're the first person in your family to graduate from college. Think about what do you believe you'll feel in that moment? And your final prompt, what does it mean to you to be a college graduate? Again, what does it mean to you to be a college graduate? Thank you for taking time to respond to these three prompts. I absolutely believe that there is power in setting goals like this and reflecting on what you'll feel in those moments. College is challenging. When you feel those challenges over the course of your college career, I'd like you to think back to your responses to these simple questions. My hope is that your responses here, the time that you spend reflecting, will help sustain you when some of those challenges pop up. And please remember that Washburn University, our community of learning, is dedicated to your success. So as Dr. Behrman mentioned, when any of those challenges pop up along the way, please reach out and let us know how we can help support you so that you can reach your ultimate goals and graduate from Washburn University. Again, congratulations on your success. And I wish you nothing but the best.